everybody, it's Misty from Missouri Star Quilt Company and I have a really fun tutorial to share with you today. We are going to make the Quilt As You Go Pillows by June Taylor. They're really simple and I love all of these products from June Taylor that have the pre-printed batting um, that make these projects so easy. When you purchase it, it will come in a package like this. And let's go ahead and open it up. You'll see there's actually uh, printed designs for three pillows. And so let me show you how this looks. Comes in this one piece and each of your printed designs is on there. I'm gonna walk you through just one of these today, but essentially all of them go together the same and the fabric requirements that are listed with it will give you enough to make all three pillows. So let's go over that. You're going to need one third of a yard of four different fabrics, then for the front lining, which really can be any fabric you want it to be if you have um, scrap or waste or even just some muslin, since it won't be seen, you need one and a quarter yards for that. The backing of your pillows, you need one and a half yards. And for your binding, you'll need three quarter yards. And again, that's for all three pillows, not each pillow. Okay, so to get started, you can see here I've basted my backing fabric, I went ahead and used red because I have it, but this is where you could use that muslin if you wanted. I've basted it to the back of my printed square. I cut out giving myself a little bit of extra room around that design, and now I have it ready to go. In your pattern, it will tell you what size to cut and how to prepare for each of your pieces. So just follow along with that, and you're going to work your way just like paint by number. This is quilt by number. So we're going to start by finding our piece number one. And I have that right here. And I should mention this cute fabric that I'm using is called um, Back Porch by me and my sister for Moda. Really, really cute red, white, white, and blues. So I've got my number one. And then I'm going to take my number two and place this right sides together, just like so. And I'm actually going to go ahead and put a pin in these just to hold everything together. And you can see I'm not overlapping the line. I'm lining it up right with that edge. That's not a sew line. That's a placement line for your fabric. And now we're just going to take this to the machine and we're going to sew a quarter inch right down that side. There we go, our first seam is done. So we can remove that pin and then we can simply roll this back or we can take it to the ironing board and give it a nice press. And you can see that the fabric matches right up with those lines that are on your pre-printed batting. And so you know that you're ready to attach your next piece, which is number three. And for that, I'm going to use these cute ladybugs. And so we will just place it right sides together on this side now. And then sew another quarter inch seam. And press. And then the final piece for the front of this pillow is this nice big piece that goes on the side here. So we'll just lay this right sides together. I am gonna go ahead and put a couple pins in here just to make sure we don't have any shifting And now we can just sew a quarter inch seam on this side here. Okay. 
And as simple as that, the front of our pillow is pretty much complete. I want to show you, I did make another one from this pack as my finished sample. I've already trimmed it all up. And for trimming, you just follow those lines on the outside of your printed batting. That outside edge, you cut right on those lines. And I want you to see here, I did go ahead and do some additional top stitching just to add another detail. And so you can see, I just did some echo stitching around the outside edges of my seams to add a little bit more of a finishing touch to this pillow. So once this is done, now we're going to assemble our backing. And I wanna show you a little extra special trick that's also from June Taylor. And it's using these zippity doo done zippers to create a backing so that you can open this up and wash it if need be. And it is so, so simple to do. So let me show you how we did that. I went ahead and used two different fabrics here. And you can see I didn't use any interfacing. I didn't quilt this part. This is simply um, regular quilting cotton on both sides. And this bottom piece measures 10 and a half by 17 and the top measures six by 17. And all that you do is sandwich your raw edges with inside of this zipper. Let me show you how this looks. It has these great little folds that you can sandwich your raw edges inside. And when you do your top stitching, it creates it so that there's no raw edges. It's beautifully finished and really, really simple to use. And so it's as simple now as putting our pieces together just like so. Oops, make sure I've got it turned the right way. And then we can just bind this as we would any other quilting project by putting our binding and attaching it to the edge. Then you'll just insert a 16 inch pillow form and you are ready to go with this super simple throw pillow project from June Taylor and the Missouri Star Quilt Company. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you are not already part of the Missouri Star Quilt family, you can hit the subscribe button below so you won't miss a thing. And if you click that bell, it'll notify you every time a new tutorial comes out. See you next Friday.